Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Today I am going to go over uh, the options between Qt Creator or Qt Designer. Um, if you're not aware, I do have a bunch of articles on my opinion on Qt as a GUI graphical user interface framework. Uh, a few days ago I put up one on um, WX widgets, which is my preference. But here, if you go over to my blog at Qt Creator, C++, or Qt Designer for Python, a couple things you should know. And this is for specifically Apple, Mac, and uh, work this thing well. One thing I like about it is it works across uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. It is, uh, like, like, like for instance, Telegram, the Messenger app is all written in Qt5. So it's a very popular framework, uh, but it's still commercial. You're very limited. But if you go with Qt Creator, which is originally written in for C++, to do it on Mac, you first got to install Xcode. I tried this minimal thing, and uh, it just didn't go very well. Qt is just flaky, especially the Qt Creator. You have to install, probably, Qt, sorry, Xcode for all the developer's tools. And there's no options. I mean, there's supposed to be a minimal installation, but to save yourself some BS, uh, the C++ option is really bloated and can be limiting, but I do have a pile of articles on Qt, so you can just type in Qt for the, sh for the, for the uh, search to get the results. But in the meantime, to save you some time, I would probably strongly suggest to go with the Qt designer for Python. Uh, you should see this right here for the link, which I'm just about to show you here. This is much more useful. Uh, so you can download either Mac or Windows. One thing to highlight is to get the Qt designer for Mac. Sorry, Qt designer for Python. You have to do download the whole Qt creator, but this guy's broken it out and uh, you know you don't need to download Qt uh, Creator for the Qt Designer for Python. So as a result, he's made it available. It's only like 30, 40 meg. It's very light. I'll show you. Just run these commands here to get it all installed in your Python environment. Assuming you got Python and pip installed. So what you can do here is once you get that running, uh, this is Qt uh, Designer right now. So everything's designed as no different than you get probably in a, not a huge fan of Microsoft as well, but I, I do like the Visual Studio. I think it's one of the best out there. But uh, regardless, Qt Creator, um, a little bloated. It is totally bloated. And uh, compared to Qt Designer in Python, it's much lighter. You can do a lot more with it, so I'm making you aware of it. So you can put your push button your toolbar, whatever you want as an interface, and then you can save it, and uh, that's it. Okay, save it. It's going to be saved as a UI user interface, a file. So what this guy's put in here, which is quite easy, um, you can, once you get that running, you can easily, my code right here, you can install, like I said, get the Qt, uh, Qt5 install the package, all the widgets, and within a few lines you can get your uh, interface running. And obviously you need to, to, in this case, save it as dialog UI. Thank you for the like. Uh, so here, in this uh, folder here, we have the two files, main Python, which is this right here, as well as we have the uh, dialog UI file which is created by Qt Designer and it will run and all you got to really do for a beginner is just do Python main pi and voila it will run it's loading up the interpreter now there you go so it's exactly all the little things you want to do in Python with Qt Designer to design it a simple user interface or UI file with Qt Designer, you can do that here. And then you have some similarity that you'd get with uh, Visual 
basic using something like uh, QT Designer. It's similar and it's very light. So I showed you it's only 40 uh, meg. So that's pretty cool. I just wanted to highlight that to you. Uh, I would obviously, if you want to make life easy, uh, unlike what I used to do in C or C++, spending your Friday nights as a lonely soul looking for uh, semicolons on your Saturday and Friday nights. Uh, you don't want to do that, or a brace, I should say. Go with Python. It's much easier, faster as well. And here you go with a user interface now with QT Designer. Hopefully I'll help you out, and uh, we shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching. And also, if you like this stuff, as usual, you go on over to the book. I have, um, if you want to do algorithmic trading, now obviously take it to the next step with user interfaces uh, or learn about trading. You can sign up here, get a couple of books, trade like a boss, blah, blah, blah. Or if you want to learn how to build custom trading robots, you can do that as well for crypto. You can get the DVD here at quantlabs.net slash DVD. Hopefully that will help you out. We shall talk to you later. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.